Welcome right. everybody to okay. our next installment of Eco Global Survival. I'm Pam and I'm here with Game Edge. Hey, how you guys doing? KJ48. What's up, guys? Oh no, Coho. Hello, hello. Bish. <laughs> G'day, everyone. And Dread Pirate Duo. I'm in the process of making 716 pitch. Wow. Nice. Wow. I was just about and, to start making it, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and Dread uh, also is also uh, kindly, kindly has brought over 200 lumber, um, helping out his community. Great guy. Thank you. Weren't you giving him shit because it was taking so long for him to? No, no, no. no. He, he he can eat. He can eat. Okay. By the way, yes, there's a story too, and we discussed it, but there's never really shown it. So uh, Pam is probably going to show it mostly on hers. But if you guys want to learn how to use it, you might want to come over just to do that when you have a chance. You can go through it there, maybe do uh, before, after, but uh, or she can explain it from here. Right, Pam? I'm sorry, I explained what? My store? Yep. Okay, well, right now I'm setting it up, and you can see what I'm doing. I, um, I put stock in the store of what I'm selling, and I list it in the for sale pane. And then in the buying pane, I list things that I will buy from other players and for what amount. And they come in and they can like sell me a raw beat for and get one coin for it. And if they sell me five beats, they get five coins. And then they can buy an elk taco for five coins. Hmm. That's how it works. But we should have like other things in here, right? Too. These should. Can you add more things to these things? Yes. Yes. You can add whatever you want. This is just me. I'm just setting it up. Okay. How much no, do you it's... get for an elk? A whole elk? Yeah. You get two. Two coins? Yeah. I see. That's right. Right. coins. Seems coins do not survive um, the trades. So you can sell, and then you can buy after you sell. If you leave the table and come back, you lose any money that's on the table. Really? That's scary. Actually... Actually, a bison is four, an elk is four, a rabbit is two, and a wolf is three. That makes more sense. That works. Alrighty. The only thing that sucks about the um, about the store is, like, food's the only thing we're going to use it for until we get into super high-end stuff. Like, I guess there's nothing they can mm -hmm. do about that. It'd be nice if, like, everyone had their own thing. and But then it's, like, annoying because well, no, if someone doesn't have stock or something, then well, you Well, everybody you does their own store. Well, so. he, has, he has lumber, right? So if he had lumber... Yeah, but anybody, have anybody buy can, it. you can't make lumber well i can but it, hey if the guy has like 200 of them it's like saying that you can work, go to make certain things yes but you can actually go and buy it a lot quicker right i can go make an apple pie or i can go and buy an apple pie same thing so i'm going to do the same thing with how that. are you going to get the lumber money? he's going to cut it well that's it you have to start somewhere right yeah so i'm just asking how yeah. are you going to get the money you have to sell something okay what are you going to sell well, right now I'm I'm only working for Pam and I'm a handyman. Man, that's all. <laughs> I'm a handyman. <laughs> yeah, it's I, just it, like you're gonna have to sell something, so you're gonna have to put time in to make the item you're gonna sell. Right, like say so, I'm see I'm buying an iron ingot for five and and one set of wood logs for two, so that you can come sell those there, and then we have them for. Uh, yeah, ironing is I, iron. The iron, the um, metal's really gonna be good for you guys because that that yeah. is a pain in the ass. So I think once you get the higher end stuff, it's going to help. But you might need to tune the pricing though a bit because yeah. ten yeah, an iron ingot for a, an yeah, iron ingot are not really. Yeah. It's not ten logs. It's well, yeah, it's one pile of logs. So the thing about it is, yeah. Yeah, I'll, no, no, I'll go cut logs for no, iron no. ingots all day. The <laughs> concept the is good. I'm yeah, yeah, you just got to you got to be tuned. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of energy the amount of energy you've got to expend to get one. Taco, for instance, far outweighs the cost that. What oh, is yeah. it? What does it I take mean, for you guys to make one of those elk tacos? Well, I have to butcher the meat. Mm -hmm. Then I have to prepare the meat. Yeah. I have to grind the flour. I have to make the tacos. Okay, but like, and then but I like, have, then, is, I, then I might have to make the tortilla shells, and then I have to make the tacos. But what, like, what are the actual ingredients that goes into it? Obviously, you need the elk, but elk, like, what else? Elk flour. Um, what do you make flour with? Tallow. Yeah. Wheat. Wheat, yeah. Wheat. Hey, and like wheat's just all over the ground, like you just go pick it up yeah. and stuff. Okay. Alright, interesting. Interesting. 
Also think of See, the you can come in and see sell sell a thing of iron and buy two elk tacos. So that's a pretty good trade. But think of the instant gratification. Like for instance, say I have, you know, like a hundred lumber sitting in my in my store, and you have logs. Do you want to go and build and, and make your make make your logs, or just go and buy them? Uh, like I said, it depends yeah. on what you're putting into the stuff you sold to get that money. Nothing's free. I mean, just because you didn't have, just because you don't want to make the logs, you still have to do something to get that money. But yeah. It'd be, it'd be interesting if there's like ways to automate it's gonna some of this stuff. It's going to get a little bit more complex because their next six, right now we're on five points, five point alpha. Yeah. The next big alpha that comes out, which is 6.1, is going to have all the trade stuff in it and coinage and currency and all of that. So it's going to get a lot more complex and a lot more in depth. Right now, it's just, you know, you come and give me, you come and, you, you come and want a taco and you give me something in return for it. It's just a straight across trade. Well, the, the food thing's going to work great. It'll be currency. The food thing's going to work great. I mean, that's, yeah. that's going to work really nice, but... Other than that, I, like it would be nice if they had like really, you know what they should do? They should limit what you can get on the servers. Like if someone gets something on the server, nobody else should be able to get it. Like, like maybe if there was some kind of like, um, but, I mean, like just throwing stuff out here. And I'm not saying this is the way I would do it, but you know, like only allow one person on the server to be able to smelt ores. You know, only one person on the server can do other things that so the mm. person. Well, that smells see, like a monopoly. Well, that's they don't. <laughs> you got to remember on a on a server that maybe has a hundred people on it. Um, you're gonna, yeah, they're gonna yeah. need to be a couple of Smiths and a couple yeah, no, of this true, and a couple of that. Well, maybe you could have it based on how many people, the population, maybe you could have more, like for every 10 people, you can have an extra smelter or something, you know, something like that. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas, you know, cause like if, if everyone can do something, then there's no value in trading it. Although we no, could all cook if we wanted to, well, yeah, it sounds is. like you put a lot of time and effort into cooking. So that does seem like something I don't want to do. So that's where the value comes in for me personally. Yeah, or you don't have the points to invest in it. Well, points are... I mean, I could, you know, <clears throat> eat and just get oh, points, I, you know. Pam was telling me some of what she... Uh, I've spent... But it doesn't matter. Time time, time cures all points. That's that's the thing. <laughs> there's well, no, there's no cap in points. But that's the thing with our with our group is we only that. play like once a week yeah, together. Yeah, sure. So it's... It's not that big of a deal. It's um, kind of a problem with the game because it it, inc it encourages you not to bother playing sometimes, I think. <laughs> well, also, if Pam wasn't giving us food and, t and keeping up on it, we would be at still like four skill points a day, right? Right, that's true, right. That's true. Or, or we would be at our skill points, but we would be not have the like other things we have. Because if Pam wasn't feeding us, I would have done all the food thing myself, but then I wouldn't have all the other things I have, so... Man, this roof's freaking hard to do. Why did I break? What was this? that game edge? Could you say that again, please? I, I censored myself. <laughs> I did. I, I did. It was proper censoring. I was saying nice things underneath that censor. Okay. Good. Yes, I, I was trying my best there. It's just very frustrating. If you're anytime young, you know very well your dad or mom probably said something when they hurt them, smash your thumb or something, or get really frustrated. This would be one of them. Yep. And it, that there's no scaffolding. Yeah, scaffolding would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. I think you played Rising World for as long as you did because of scaffolding. I think, I love yes. Scaffolding. In game Edge and scaffolding, it's <laughs> like, it's, it's a magic combination. Yeah. It's beautiful, though. It, it, I, I see. Needed. It's better than God mode. Everybody goes, just do God mode. It's freaking easier. I'm like, what's the fun of that? I want to build. The only, the only thing better like than thrill. scaffolding, and you can't do it in like one of these games. Um, you need like a sci-fi game, but uh, the drone in in Imperion is like, phew, it's the best. It is. I eh? love it. It's a cat's meow. Yes, whatever that means. Yeah. Okay. You never heard that the cat's meow, yeah. No, I, never. I mean, I might have heard. I don't know. I think my grandma told me that once or something. Oh, oh, the, dog's oh. I don't know. <laughs> the dog's bollocks? I don't know. The dog's bollocks is another one, yes. Oh, boy. Uh, the rabbit's on the roof again. Okay. And the buffalo's in the backyard. Yeah. There we go. 
And the cats in the crib. This is, is <laughs> <spoon>. <laughs> this is what I like to call musical chests. Where you just make a line of you just make a damn line of chests. <laughs> He's I think Bish had a whole different idea of what you're talking about there. No, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. No, I'm, I'm literally doing that as well right yeah. now. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about okay, I forget. I forget about it. Yeah, well, remember. this doesn't seal up at the end at all. Oh no, damn it. Mm. Well, it seals up properly right to the top, but it, I know that there's like it's like a bad oh, actually it looks like a belly button. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, uh, your your roof has a belly button. It has a belly button. Well, there you go. <clears throat> okay, well. Oh, the, um, that makes it yeah. special. It's special, yep. all right. Oh, oh, yeah, there's no fall damage. Whew. See how I said ow? Like okay, guys, sorry child. about that. I actually have the right thing now before I go down into the cave. <laughs> what did you forget? I, I was supposed to bring pulp down, and I brought brick down for some reason. Basically, because I'm talking to you guys and trying to think of cool ways that the economy could be cool and I just you know wasn't paying attention all right we don't let it happen again oh I'm sure it will happen again you're not allowed to think about fun this stuff is so fun. the fun police are inside the game oh my god <laughs> chief trick <laughs> Jesus Christ oh my god <laughs> Those guys are so good and weird. It's like education and music. Speaking of music, I dropped about I don't know fifty dollars at at uh, Jason's stream last night. <laughs> Did you? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I got a bunch of songs out of it. <laughs> I could do that very easily too. That yeah, it's fun. Brilliant. It's fun. He's a good guy. He deserves it. There's a people on Twitch with like real talent need to be rewarded and like. It's kind of bullshit yeah. that he's got like 30 people at his stream and like all these no talent hacks on Twitch would be like, you yeah, know, hundreds of people. Did you tell him to show some cleavage? <laughs> it doesn't work for him. He's a guy. I know. <laughs> I just It'd be say, nice. I, was, <clears throat> I flipped through the channels. There's a girl who has like 895 people on and she was doing cosplay something, getting ready for my yeah. cosplay. Yeah, for yeah cosplay stuff. And yeah, I the cosplay. Ways. And boy, did Cos she, yeah. she was just cutting open, cutting something, but her cleavage... Couldn't be yeah. any deeper in. I was quite impressed, that's, actually. That's supposed to be uh, against Twitch. Oh no, no! Don't come on. They make money off that. I had someone. I had someone. I'm not going to name names. Yeah, moral but stories. I had someone tell me that I should stream on YouTube, and I was like, "It's against Twitch guidelines if you're if you're a streamer." And he said, no, come on. <laughs> He said, <laughs> "Everybody does it, you know." So just do it. And I'm like, I'm not going to risk my Twitch uh, partnership for that, but still, you know, I I probably could easily get away with it, but you can't do both. There's got you're not, you're there's not allowed to. to do it at the same time. No, there's. I watch. There's a, a tech series each week, a live stream called. Don't don't name awesome names. Don't name names. Blah blah blah. No, blah, no, blah, no, blah. Uh, <clears throat> unless he's an asshole, and you want him to close down. What is, is his it? name? <laughs> no, but but is that is the person that you're talking about a uh, uh, a, a is, he par is he partnered? A Twitch partner? Is he partnered? It's don't know, partner. but they do that, both. They they stream on Twitch he's and on YouTube. He, at the he same may time. very well not be bar partner. Yeah, if you're, if you're not partnered, that's only for partners. If partners. A oh, lot okay. of non part. A lot of non partners do that to see which one they'll get big on first, and then they go for a partnership. What is a partnership, by the way? For some people, who are probably you get you can once you're partnered, you get paid through sub counts and stuff like that to stream on Twitch. Okay, you see. I'm like sure to make you, money. People are yeah, ask Twitch exactly. subs are not free though. Switch subs are five bucks a month. Bucks a month, yeah. Sorry. When you, like when sub, you sub somebody YouTube? to, yeah. Oh, go ahead, it, when you sub on YouTube, it's just a free. You know, you it's click it. Sub, and it doesn't yeah. cost you it's anything. Like yeah. Oh, you're, you're talking. Right. Okay, you're talking about the other thing. Okay, on sorry. Twitch, it costs. You. That's right. Sorry. I'll wake up sooner or later. That's really uh. I caught on. Right. But you can still watch <clears throat> the streams for free if you want to. Right, right, yes. yes. But you guys caught me off guard. It's like, what? Cage me $5? It'll be interesting. What, once somebody real, really gets pissed off about that, um, I have a feeling there may be a lawsuit. What do you mean? I don't, I don't think that they can, at least in the U.S., I don't think they can force you to... to uh, Pick one streaming service or another. Non-competition clause, they sure can. Yeah, I mean, like, if, if like, 
it, it, it's their terms. They could set whatever terms they want if they're going to, like, partner with you. You know, it's it's not like they're hiding the terms or anything. I mean, it's a non-competition clause. It's just like, you know, in business, non-competition clauses. They're totally legal. Mm. Game, Man, guys, Game Man just doesn't like it? the idea that. The what? I hit my roof. <laughs> Game Edge has bigger problems. He's got roof issues. I'm having some serious roof issues right now. Yeah. Part of me wants to cry. Yeah. I don't even want to think about Cut down his tree in front. No. Who cut the tree out in front. But did someone cut the tree down? I'm joking. Don't cut my tree down. Yeah, I was I was going house. by that today in the video and I was like, oh that tree looks really nice. I liked it. <laughs> Chunk, chunk, chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Cage too. <laughs> no. Well, God, that, 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 that tree my, tree where's my nice. gas axe when I need it? <laughs> in, in my front yard, piled up in neatly, sta <laughs> in neatly stacked rows. Oh, shit. You know, I, I've been doing this all inside all this time to do a, to jump up on my roof. Yep. Right. Yeah. You know, I made a door there right on a, in a little balcony. Oh, God. Yeah, that's the frustration I'm going through now. And a tree, I can hop up on him. Like, I feel like Qbert. Qbert. Wait, how does that there's... go? <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember Qbert? No, I, I remember Qbert. <laughs> of course. He'd always watched... curse all the time. Uh, I watched, uh, uh, what do you call it? Wreck It Ralph with my daughter the other day. Oh, my God. That was Qbert good. in it. Yeah, Wreck It Ralph. That was a good. I, uh... I didn't think I'd like that movie, um, so I avoided it. And then when I sat down and watched it because it was on TV, it was actually pretty good. Yep. It's actually a very fun movie. More than I thought so. They make fun of Mario pretty good. <laughs> Gosh, golly, jeez. It's like half Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's awesome. I love when they make fun of it. All right. You guys notice the weight thing's broken? Why? What's It what says one, one kilogram of 20, like no matter what I have on me. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's been No, mine's for a while. mine's working on food right now. Are you sure you're carrying stuff with weight? Yeah, yeah. It's been that no matter what I carry. And when you say carry, you mean put it in your carry slot? No, like you know you know the thing by your hot bar that's to, that changes as you as you have stuff in your inventory? That's not changing mm -hmm. no matter what I have in my inventory. Like I just tried, I just tried to carry 20, 20 copper ingots and only like carry four, and oh wait, it just changed. Now it's changing. Okay, never mind. Maybe I was just wasn't paying attention. I think I think a lot of the stuff that I think has weight doesn't. So maybe that that maybe that's what was happening. Like you can carry on like crap. Like I got a a workbench in my inventory and a and a brazier and a candle and none of them have any weight. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, none of the placeables have weight. I think they are trying to go for like a like a blueprint style thing. Like it's a blueprint and you haven't assembled it yet type thing. Yeah, well. Oh, really? All I know is I can carry around dirt in real life a lot easier than I can carry around a freaking workbench. But... And surprisingly, <laughs> a bison, too. A bison, bison four. is a... a... Four bison or several bison. <laughs> <laughs> they are rather like large it. animals. And very light. I, I, we never knew it. Very light, mm. actually. Apparently, I went, hunt, made I went hunting balsa. the other night, and I carried back like six freaking bus. <laughs> just shows okay. how boss my bloke is. That's freaking. And we're not. We're not. We're not dishing on a game. It's just. It's. No, it's no. Funny. I'm just, I'm this just this is early access fun. Laughing. Oh, in case people. If you want to hear me bag on the game, start issues. talking about the, uh, the carts. Then, then there we can are. talk. But no, it's fine. I dig. You digress. The only thing in this game that I have a trouble with is the cards. Other than that, all the early access stuff, I'm cool with it. It's just the cards just, I love the idea. We were talking about it before we recorded. I love the idea of the cards. I think it's such an awesome idea and I just want them to work. That's all. Never. Farming would be nice too. Yeah, farming's gonna be dire. Even for you guys to survive from some stuff, you know. You know, Pam has like elk tacos, which are very good in half price this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too many craftables. Oh, okay. So the the fire counts as a craftable, huh? But the bellows doesn't. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, fair enough. Can you turn off craftables? And uh, I'd have to pick it up, I guess. 
That's all right. We'll let this make the pitch, and then I'll... See, it's annoying because the way you carry stuff, you want your craftables close to each other. Like, I want my campfire right next to my kiln. You know what I'm saying? But I also want... I also want my quarry in the same room. Like, they make it hard to carry stuff around, and then they make it so you can only have two things in each room. So I'm not sure. So one thing you can do is you can um, put it in a room, punch a hole between two rooms, and then put, like, the campfire really close to that hole. Yeah, can... that's that's an imperfect... Like My campfire mm. can't, didn't count. I was able to put two workstations in and a campfire in the same room. Really? That's weird. Let me go double-check. Maybe I missed something. My campfire is outside. I don't know. Right. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. My roof is done. Well, at least that big one. Congratulations. I will is come it? look in just a minute. Oh, uh, yeah. See how it has to stack up? Yeah, I like that. Nice. They screw up on one side though. Kiln requires the following: too many craft. Oh, what's that? Too many craft tables in this room. Only allowed two, but eight are present. You no, 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 no. It's not eight. That that's. I I was getting the same message, and I had one extra one. Okay. So don't don't pay any attention to the eight. Do you think thing. they changed the bellows? Maybe the bellows counts now. Let me, let me There's a check. hole in your roof. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah. Um, no. So the reason the eight are there is typically because you have your you have extra modules, and that crafting table is not compatible with the modules. At least that's what happened to me. <clears throat> uh, there's no what modules in this room. What happens no. when you fill in this empty space? There we go. What's that? What happens when you fill it in a bit? When you fill in the empty space? Well, I see the problem I'm going to have right now is that these these rooms still need to have a, a ceiling pot, I think, on top. All right, guys, they changed it. The uh. The um, the bloomery counts now. I just oh, picked okay. it up and it fixed it. Oh, that What's, makes sense. What? That makes sense. Okay. It does actually. That's why I, my kiln and blo bloomery are the only thing in the one room. Yeah, but like I need a campfire more than I need. You, don't you need a campfire more? Than you, like, what do you need the ingots for exactly? Exactly in the kiln. Like, I don't even see anything I can make ingots. For. I just put them both in. Okay, so there was no strategic no. reason? Okay. Because I was thinking well, the campfire, the campfire is what you want near the kiln because of all the pitch. And pitch is yeah, heavy, too. My campfire is just outside the door. But you can reach it, that's the thing. And as far well, as you're punching holes in walls, as far as you're punching holes in walls, man, that's... I don't do that. If you can put no, no, you. I thought. You, oh no, I'm sorry. That was dread. It's it's a good solution and it works, but I it goes against like, I don't know. I don't want holes in my walls. Like when I was walking around Dread's place, I thought it looked really awesome, but then I started falling in holes in his floors because they're going down a chest, <laughs> and I was like, ugh. <laughs> I don't blame you for doing it, but man, I wish they'd figure out a way around that. Maybe I don't know. I don't have a solution, but yeah, and everything's so heavy. Yeah, but it's supposed to give you that realism and hard work, right? No, there's no realism about not being able to put more than two crafting benches in a room. That's not realistic in any stretch of the imagination. That's a I've, gameplay I've to, thing to slow things down. I've been to, to machine shops that have like 15 okay, or more stations in there. For the size of the room, then they should do it by size yeah. of the room then. No, they, they, did it for, they did it for gameplay purposes. They want to slow it down or else you get everything done too quickly. I, I understand that it's just, you know, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. We'll work it out. There's, It'd be cool. Like, I hope they're thinking of it from a strategic standpoint. Like I said, the kiln and the campfire in the one room is a great... With the quarry, I think that's actually a really good setup. I can't think of anything else I'd rather have in there. Although I'm not that far in the game, but... Stupid bird. And let us kill the birds. Come on. What's doing a song sound? Oh, you're in my bed. Oh, is my bench going off? Did you put something in there, Pam? I didn't put anything in there. What's the bench doing there? Is it making something? Well, let's go make a sound. Gotten, you might want to hit it and make it shut up. It might have gotten just stuck on a sound loop. I didn't start my timer, by the way. Oh, what the hell? No more oh, naps we, for me on, we're done on now. Saturdays. We're done now. Wait, I'm gonna, I want to check 24. the... 24. Uh, I want to check the um, your guys' store before we go. Check out the roof of the store. Oh, that's a nice little roof. I like it. Not bad, eh? Too bad it's not style. daytime. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I wish it was daytime. Kind of disappointed. You need that. a walkway up to that other door, too. Which walkway? See right here, this door? It's just good. Like, I came out this well, door, and I was like, what is this? That, that's Shit. a private door. <laughs> private. Close the doors, Pam. 
God's sake. Too late. I'm in. No. And then he can't get in the store. I know, but it's a prison. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, he's Oh, trying. he got in. How did he get into your door? Probably not locked. He's got free food now. <laughs> oh, that's right. The store. That's what I came to. the from. store. Where is the store? I don't see it. Am I just missing it? or? Oh, here it is. All right, cool. Let's check this out. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you got a face the other way. That's nice. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, cool. For sale. All right, all right. And this stuff can all be just picked up outside? Yep. Camel bulbs. Are you buying... Uh... Oh, good. You're buying beets. You know what you're going to have to do? I don't know if you can do this, but you're going to have to put a limit on some of this stuff. Because I know where to get a thousand beets, and I can just come in and flow everything with beets, and it's not going to give you what you need to craft there, that's, it. That's that's coming. That's coming. Oh, but the, it's not in yet. The, okay. the update is just not in yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Wood five each. And so for, is that for per log or per stack of logs? The the per log, I think. Yeah, two logs for one iron ingot. <clears throat> No, one iron angle gives you five points, I think, or six points. I forget what I put in there. This says um, you're buying iron, iron ingots for ten and wood for five. Okay. I thought it was a stack of wood. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is. I, I it can't is. tell. Well, if, sir, if you don't like it, you can step out the door. Just go to the <laughs> service. You know, you're not very nice. You run a store here. Let me look at that. I'm going to go to elsewhere. I'll cut your wee wee off. Let me go. find the, the other. Customer, the customer is always right. Let me go That's find the other store selling food, good sir. All right, you go and find another <laughs> store, guys. You got to open up a store, man. These guys are these guys are. Dread mean. has he's selling wood. He can... That's not a... no. I mean food. I can't eat wood. I'm not a beaver. Oh, it's it's, it's food. Well, Pam, I locked yes. him in, so you can beat him up. Pam, you're gonna have to pay. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to pay a lot more than that for iron ingots, I think. You think? Yeah, Probably like, not. well, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I mean, I the haven't effort, even found any yet. Uh, I'm, I've am i actually been spent this entire video getting iron. Oh, so you, wait, you're selling... Oh, you have 36 muffins. Okay. I see. Yeah, because, like, we need, like, almost, a, like, five iron ingots just to get full on the food you're selling. Because he's iron, man. Oh, uh, okay. So, let's see. How about if I make iron ingots very expensive? Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, you could you could put it for whatever you want. It's just I don't. I wouldn't tuning. sell it for that. It's going to be tuned. That, yeah. That's, yeah, that's going to that's going to take yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, yeah. The concept is is sound. Pam, right. I'm locked in here with you. I, I'm. I'm oh, I'm, okay. Pam, I'm locked in here with you. What are we going to do? Well, at least we got food. Gimmage, you bastard! No, I don't. I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah, but see, I can unlock the here. Come on <laughs> here, Pam. Uh, come in here, Cage. Yay! Unlock this one for me. No, no. Welcome to prison. Hey, Dude. I'm in prison. All right, so oh, thank no. you so much, guys, for being uh, <laughs> <to> start us. <laughs> you <laughs> bastards. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, guys. And have a good night, uh, everybody. I'm going to ax you. Have a good one. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Cage just died straight there. I want to see you in prison for once. <laughs>